Do you know that the leaves of sweet potatoes are edible? I didn't know about that. Until two months ago, I saw a video on Nana Bear's kitchen. She was sharing potato leaves too. And just around that time, I had started my backyard garden. I had sweet potato growing here. I honestly didn't know that these leaves were going to be edible. And I also didn't plan to plant this in the first place because the sweet potatoes were just germinating. I had some at home and they were germinating. So I just decided to plant them. So seeing that video, I'm just super excited. The take home on that video for me was the fact that these are edible and it will amaze you the number of recipes I've already done with this. So I've harvested some, I've washed them nicely and then I brought them into my kitchen. Now this is the second wash and this time I'm adding some salt to this just to make it clean, you know. <laughs> and I like the fact that I can actually dip my hands in this. See, don't try this with cocoa yam leaves. Don't try this with contemporary. <laughs> so, after I have washed this nicely, I'll just go ahead and cut them up. I'm going to cut them like the way we cut our contemporary leaves. So, I'm not going to follow exactly the recipe Nanapa said. As I said, the take home, um, or Nanapa shared. As I said, the take home for me was the fact that these are edible and i am just <laughs> making stuff my way with them so i chopped this nicely and then my name is yanoki yes it's always a pleasure to have you here <laughs> Once I am done cutting all my veggies and prepping all my ingredients, I'm going in with some palm oil. Now the next thing, I'm going to add my stung fish, which is momoni. I know my Ghanaians know this. <laughs> and so I'll put it in the oil, give this a nice stir. This will be a nice fragrance to add to you. And this is this this tank fish is actually going to melt. It's going to dissolve nicely in the oil. Next thing I'll do is to add my diced onions or my onions that I have cut and the onions actually had also started germinating so you can see all those green green stuff on it it has started germinating and I was not going to throw that green top away I added everything <laughs> so I fried this for about two to three minutes and then I'll be adding my chopped tomatoes and scotch bonnet pepper and um, I'm not grinding anything on this day so everything that I'm using is chopped now i don't like garlic in my palm oil personally that's that's the personal taste so but i love ginger in my in my palm oil so i am grating a bit of that into this but if you like garlic you know with palm oil just go ahead and add your garlic you can also grate your garlic at this point and then just stir everything nicely at this point, I'm just going to cover this um, stew for it to fry a bit. I want the tomatoes and all the veggies to be, you know, a bit cooked. So I was multitasking, guys. So you may see some, you know, I see a shaker crab. <laughs> anyway, so. Um, I've added in my smoked mackerel at this point and smoked mackerel they are like they are just delicate so I'll be careful with the way I stir this now that's some powdered shrimp in there I'll not be adding um seasoning cube and um, because of the stunk fish that I added to this in the beginning and this 
powder shrimp is all that you need to give this tube that kick that that beautiful taste okay so at this point i'm just going to add my eggs to it i have quixed my eggs nicely and then i'll add this to it because i want this to be chunky i'll cover this for like two minutes again under low heat and then i would come in and gently give this a stir if you are enjoying my video at this moment please give me a thumbs up and hey if you've not subscribed what are you waiting for <laughs> kindly support me by subscribing to my channel so at this point everything is nice and cooked and i'm coming in with my potato leaves see i can't tell you how happy i am with this discovery with this thing that i found on anabe's kitchen because the fact that this thing does not itch you know some people react to contemporary because it itches and this does not each contemporary is cocoyam leaves by the way this does not each i don't have to boil it different on a different in a different pan you know because if you don't boil your contemporary well you know that you have that you know that effect and the fact that i'm able to maintain the crunch in this leaves alone makes me like honestly a believer <laughs> i have done a boom with this i have done a bunebunu with this and this is something that honestly you may not find on a Ghanaian local market i've never seen <laughs> um and please let me know if you if you can find some or if you've ever seen some before uh, but then i can assure you that it's easy to grow them i don't have any experience in farming um, as soon as you see something germinating and you have some soil, you know, or your backyard or something, just put it in it and it will grow without, you know, you having to do too much. So at a point, I just covered this up for about, you know, maximum four minutes. I didn't overcook this at all and this was done. Apparently, sweet potato leaves can also be used um, as a salad, you know, for salad. So this is not something that you have to cook so much we enjoy this with some yam with some ripe plantain rice it was just so so delicious thank you so much for watching i'll see you again in another video Mwah!